Please open your hymnals to number 523 for all the saints, number 523. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Gosh, I didn't hear, I didn't hear anything, did you? I, no. No. Let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, that's wonderful. So much, so much better. This wonderful day we come together, and we celebrate the Feast of uh, St. John Berkman's. Uh, and we, uh, so this is our first, uh, first Mass for this year together. Is that, is that right? Uh, yes, good. So it's so good to see you. We missed you during the summer, and we're so glad to have you back. Well, let's prepare ourselves to have Mass, being aware of the times that we have not been good, the times that we have sinned. We ask God's mercy and His forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. You invite us always to give you our love, Lord our God, and you are pleased with a cheerful giver. Give us, we pray, a youthful spirit to be like St. John, always eager to seek you and to do your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Be seated.
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near, have no anxiety at all. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to Jesus, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another, Jesus said, follow me. But he replied, Lord, 
let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. To him, Jesus said, no one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Morning, Father Peter. Morning. What's this? A relative of St. John Bartman's. Do you have a mic? Good morning, Bishop. It's a relic of St. John Berkman's that we have on that altar. In, in this re reliquary? In that reliquary. My goodness. And uh, of course, we don't know what part of his body it It's is. from one of his bones. Okay. And we have two relics over there, reliquaries. Really? One is from his heart, the lower one, and the other one is from the, the ashes of his body. Wonderful. How did you get these? The two on the side there were given to us by priests in Belgium. Remember, St. John Berkman's was born in modern-day Belgium. And so they have the heart of St. John Berkman's and a number of these students were able to see the heart when he was here five years ago. The first time it ever left Belgium, it came here to the cathedral. And then the other reliquary, well, what the priest said was, we have his heart, we'll give you the, the reliquary that has the fragments of the heart. They love the fact that we so love and venerate uh, St. John Berkman's. They're like, He's our saint, is what, is what they said. And I'm like, no, he's our saint. <laughs> the miracle of St. John Berkman's took place in our state. And so th they know about that, and they gave us, literally gifted that to the cathedral parish. Isn't that wonderful? It is. Oh, my goodness. So, so you know when you walk into the cathedral and you see these uh, gold containers or silver container, uh, we have a fancy name for them. It's called a reliquary. Because, because inside is a relic. And Father Peter just told us what the piece of heart, uh, John Berkman's heart and some of the ashes there and probably part of his bones in this one right here. You see the one right there? How special it is that we as a cathedral named after St. John Berkman's would have some of these relics, some of these relics. So uh, good morning again. So good to see you. Uh, we, we really did miss you. I know. You, how many of you missed school during the summer? Yeah, well, they're the, they're the really good ones, okay. Uh, the, bad ones, the bad ones are back there, okay. No, no we, missed, we missed you. We missed you. You weren't around here. And did you have a good summer? Good summer? Good? Did you? You didn't have a good summer? You did. Okay. Did you have a good summer? Um, was it a real good summer or just a good summer? A real good summer, okay. And uh, what did you do during the summer that made it real good? What did you do? Pardon me? Did you do anything fun? Like what? Did you go swimming? Yeah. Did you play? Was that all fun? Yeah. Would you rather be doing that than going to school? Yeah, me too. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, our sermon today um, is not going to be very long. It's going to be very short uh, because 
this is your first this is your first mass coming back isn't it yes and so i don't want to keep you a long time but i i i found out something about saint john berkman's now this this church is named the cathedral of saint john berkman's and um, uh, i see that that uh, some of you have these initials on your on your shirt it has sjb saint john berkman's right so we're very close and there's there are two of his relics and the one on the altar. And so when people ask you, where do you go to school? Proudly we say, we go to St. John Bergman's and we have some relics of him in our church. That's really important. But that's not what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about a story uh, uh, about St. John Bergman's when he was a very young child, probably about your age. And so that's why this is important to talk to you uh, at your age about something that St. John Berkman said when he was your age, okay? Are you ready for it? You ready? Okay. He said, as a young person, like your age, how old are you? Seven? About your age. He said, uh, I'm so something like, I'm supposed to be a saint. And he says, if I can't be a saint now at the age of seven or 12, he says, if I can't be a saint now, I'll never be a saint. Do you know what a saint is? You don't know. Okay, well, that, well that's, that's good. So we can find out from people behind you. This young lady with the curly blonde uh, hair there, can you tell us what a saint is? Uh, a saint is a person in heaven. Yes. All right. Well, I have to ask the obvious question. Okay, since your hand is really raised, high, real high, it's the obvious question, how did they get to heaven? By following the rules of God? By following the rules of God? Is that what you said? Okay, good. Very good. Very good answer. Do you have an answer too? Well, then pull this down just a little bit so I can hear you clearly. How did they get to heaven? They done good every day and spread the word of God. They done good every day and spread the word of God. Very good. All right, got some more hands raised. Yes. Um, pull, pull this down a little bit so I can hear you. They were respectful to everyone they knew. They, they treated everyone with kindness and love and so forth, huh? Very good, yes. Back here, yes. Yeah, they live their life down here, like we're doing here. They live their life uh, uh, as, in a way that God would want them to live that life, yes. And then when they died, they went to heaven. And then they're, we call them saints, right? Yes. You pull this down just a little bit so I can hear you. They devoted their life to God. And they devoted their life to God. They, they were able to say, hey, I got this one life, and I'm going to devote this one life to God, because if, um, if I can't be a saint now, I'll never be a saint. So we're all kind of saints in the making, okay? We're on our way to become saints on the way. Isn't that a, a good thought to think about that? that? What is your first name? Bailey. Bailey. Maybe something, if someday someone talks about Saint Bailey, wouldn't that be cool, huh? Yeah. And every Christian should want that, that one day I will be a saint. But if I'm not a saint right now, it's going to be pretty tough to be a saint later on. Because some people think I can put it off. Some people think that they can, they can wait years and years and years to be good. I remember when I was a child, I said, wouldn't it be great if, if, if all I had to do um, was to uh, wait until I'm an old person like Father Peter and, uh, and then be a saint. Now, you know, Father Peter, he knew that that was something that St. John Berkman said when he was your age. And, and he, was, he, he knows that so well that he put a sign up in a banner up in this church, our cathedral church, with those words. Can anyone see it? Well, there it is right there. If I do not become a saint when I am young, I shall never become one. How about that? Isn't that wonderful? So that's what we're supposed to be doing. Say, what do you do right now? Say, well, I'm, I'm trying to be a saint. 
because if I'm not a, trying to be a saint now, I'll never be a saint later on. And that's what everyone is called to be, a saint in heaven, like St. John. So this, today's his feast day. How many years, uh, Father Peter, how many years has uh, St. John been deceased? 400. 400 years ago. That happened 400 years ago. Well, this is our time. This is our time right here where we think about it. What can I do? We had some wonderful answers over there of what it means to be a saint. How does someone get to be a saint? By being good and holy and by, uh, by treating other people really well, your classmates too, your brothers or sisters, that may be hard at times, okay? But nonetheless, there's the line. If I do not become a saint when I am young, I shall never become one. I want you to think about that because maybe, at the, yes, do you, yes, ma'am? I want to come back here so I can hear you better. I have a brother and sister too. You have a brother and sister too? Are you good to them? Are they good to you all the time? Are you good to your brother and sister all the time? We see you're on the way to become a saint. That's a good thought, isn't it, huh? Up there with Jesus and Mary and Joseph and St. John and St. John. Pardon me? I have a sister. You do? Well, wonderful. Are, are, you, are you kind to your sister? How, is she older than you or younger than you? Mm -hmm. She's little? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. All right. That's our message. That is our message that I, no matter how old you think you are, did you have something? You'll be the last one I'm going to call on. Okay. All right. And pull this down so I can hear what you're going to say. What are you going to say? Exactly. You've got to spread the gospel. See that guy up there? He's a deacon. And next year he's going to be ordained a priest. And one of his responsibilities when we have mass, uh, and you see that with the deacon John who works here, is that he went over there and he read the gospel. But we can read the gospel too, right? and live the gospel, yes? Good. All right, St. John Berkman's 400th anniversary of his death, got his relics here, the church is named after him, and his great line is what? If I can't be a saint when I am young, I'll never be a saint. So today, if you haven't started, today is the day to begin. Sound good? Good. Would you now stand because we're gonna offer our prayers to God. For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to strengthen and uphold her in this time of trial. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Lord. our prayer. For civic leaders and school administrators grappling with back to school issues in the shadow of the coronavirus, may the Holy Spirit guide them in their decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For teachers and all school staff, may the grace and peace of Christ give them strength and comfort throughout the school year. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For students attending school this fall, may they grow in wisdom and grace through the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the whole world, may the Lord look upon us in his mercy and bring an end to the sickness and divisiveness brought about by COVID-19. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Thank you. Father Peter, do you have any special prayers or petitions that you'd like to lift up as rector of St. John's on this his feast day? Well, today the mass is being offered for you, for all of our students, the faculty members, everyone associated with our school. So let us let us be mindful of that as we continue with our liturgy. So for you and for your prayer intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for Father Peter and for Father 
Jerry signed here, and for our deacon. I know that he wants this next year to pass very quickly, so he, this time next year he can be celebrating Mass. And so we pray for him and pray that this will be a wonderful a de deacon year for him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for the gift of this day. We thank you for the example of St. John Berkman's. We thank you for the opportunity to celebrate this way. And we ask you to hear the, the new prayers which we place before you this morning in faith, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be seated. Please take a moment to pass down the song sheets, hymn in honor of St. John Berkman's, as we prepare to sing our offertory hymn. Please stand and pray with me <clears throat> that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord Jesus. accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Fill our hearts with joy through the sacrifice of your Son, O Lord, we pray, that we may never lose our first fervor, but hear and obey what the Spirit is saying to the church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim.
You can kneel down. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. This right there. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and St. John Berkman's, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. So stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done <clears throat> on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please open your hymnals to number 528, Gift of Fine Sweet, number 528. Closer so I can, there you go, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. 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 Bless you, sweetheart, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Christ. 
Paddy crashed. Paddy crashed. Paddy crashed. Paddy crashed. Paddy crashed. Come closer. Body crashed. Body crashed. stand as we pray. In this Eucharistic meal, Lord God, you deepen our love for each other. Help us, we pray, to imitate St. John and bear witness to your goodness by being to one another friends in the Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Today, immediately after Mass and before you go back to your classrooms, what we will do is we will dismiss in such a way that you can walk in front of the reliquaries Father Jerry and I will be there to hold them for you and your veneration of them, and then you'll be able to continue out as you normally would. And let us thank our bishop for being here for this great feast day of ours, and uh, what a beautiful way to inaugurate our school year than, than with the Mass with our bishop. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Father. And you know, one of the, the things, I love Masses uh, with the school children. I love them. But I, after being here a year and a half, one of the things that I always look forward to when we have these Masses together is those folks up there, the choir. Thank you so much for singing and leading us in song today. Let's recognize them, okay? Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, Michael, the archangel, archangel defend, defend us, us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please turn your hymnals to number 614. Lift high the cross, number 614. Thank you, students. Go ahead and put your hymnals down, and let us put the song sheets at the end of the pew.